On this next one, we do not have common denominators. So we're going to go through and we've written out the problem already. Now we're going to find the LCD. So our denominator is 4 and our denominator here is 5. So we set up our numbers. I like to count by the bigger number, 5, 10, 15, 20. I know that 4 goes into 20, so our least common denominator is going to be 20. Let's rewrite our fractions. Originally we had 1 fourth and 3 fifths. We want both of those to get to 20 on the bottom, just like we've practiced in previous videos. So to get to 20, I'm going to have to multiply by 5 in the denominator and the numerator. And to get to 20 down here, I'm going to have to multiply by 4 in the denominator and the numerator. So here's our two new fractions. Let's add and simplify them over here. So 5 twentieths plus 12 twentieths. Denominator always stays the same. And our numerator, 5 plus 12, is 17. This is already simplified. We can't reduce it. We can't change it to a mixed number, so that's done. Now let's go through and find all of our whole numbers. We have a 3, we have a 2, and that's it because this does not need to be changed into a mixed number. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Now let's put everything together. Our final answer is going to be 5 and 17 twentieths. All right, here's another problem. 4 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 5 sixths. Let's look at our denominators. 4 and 6, those are not common, so let's find the LCD. I'm going to count by sixes. Right away when I get to 12, I know that 4 is going to go into 12. So our least common denominator is 12. Let's rewrite our fractions. Originally we had 3 fourths and 5 sixths. We want those to get to 12 as our new denominators. 4 times 3, and down here it's going to be 6 times 2. So our new fractions, when we rewrite them over here, are going to be 9 twelfths plus 10 twelfths. 9 plus 10 is 19, and our denominator stays the same. This is an improper fraction, so we do need to simplify and make it a mixed number. So 19 divided by 12. We can take one group of 12 out, and there's going to be 7 left out of 12. Okay, let's go to this square where we're going to add all of our whole numbers. So looking through our problem, we have a 4 plus a 1 plus, in our simplified version over here, we have another 1. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So let's combine what we've got, 6 and 7 twelfths, and that's our final answer, all simplified and perfect.